Hey there, in today's guide, I'm excited to show you two different ways to integrate the DeepSeq R1 reasoning model with NA10. We'll start by connecting DeepSeq R1 through OpenRooter, and then I'll demonstrate how to bypass OpenRooter entirely, creating a direct link to DeepSeq API for lower latency and streamlined performance. DeepSeq R1 is famous for its powerful reasoning capabilities, and of course, affordability and N8 and opens up a world of no-code automation. But by combining these two, we can tackle everything from agency-level workflows to personal assistant tasks, planning, scheduling, automating all sorts of activities in a snap. Whichever method you choose depends on your needs. If you are comfortable with OpenRitter and want a fast solution, go with method one. If you are seeking minimal delays or more control, Method 2 might be your best bet. I'll guide you through both step by step, so don't worry. Before we dive into the details, I want to give a quick shout out to our Make Money with AI Agents community. This is where I help people like you turn AI automations into real revenue. We don't just talk tech, we also find customers together, pitch to them collectively and collaborate on strategies to build profitable AI-driven services. If you are looking to earn income from AI and automation, this is the place to be. Think of it as your backstage to pay to creating an AI-powered business. And with the workflows we'll cover today, like seamless integrating DeepSeq R1 to NA10, and much more, we have plenty of ready-to-use automation in our community, you'll be able to offer incredible value to clients or scale your own projects. So, if that sounds interesting, Stick around or check the link in the description to learn more. All right, let's jump into what you need to get started and then I show you exactly how to integrate DeepSeq R1. First using Cooperator and then going direct. Let's get. Now, for example, what can we use as a trigger? A chat trigger is a great option, so let's select it. This will be the starting point of our workflow. First, we place our initial node. This is the foundation of everything. Our workflow will begin from here. From this node, we will establish communication with our model. Next, we want to connect DeepSeq R1 to our system using OpenRouter. To do this, we need to add an AI agent to the workflow. This AI agent acts as the brain of the system. It will function as a tools agent and will connect it to the chat trigger node. Once this is done, we'll proceed by selecting a chat model. For this example, we'll use OpenAI as our chat model. Now, you might be wondering why OpenAI and why DeepSeq. The reason we're adding this to OpenAI is to replicate OpenAI's node functionality with OpenRouter. I'll demonstrate how this is achieved step by step. Now, let's move forward by creating new credentials. This step involves setting up the API key and base URL. First, we need an API key. To get this, we go to openrouter.ai. Once there, click on keys and create a new API key. Give it a name, something simple like API key works well. For this example, I've created an API key with a $5 credit limit. After generating the key, I copied and pasted it here. Next. We go back to chat model and we paste API. Also, we change base URL. Here, we'll update the base URL to direct it to OpenRouter's API. The URL will look like this, openrouter.ai slash API slash version 1. Once this is updated, click save and close the credential setup. Now, let's select a model. As you can see, no model is available to select. This is because we've redirected it to OpenRouter instead of OpenAI. To solve this, we'll use an expression. In the expression field, copy the details from DeepSeq R1 and paste it here. This introduces the model into OpenRouter, allowing us to use it. Once the expression is added, the model is ready to go. Next, we need to add memory to this model. Why? Because we want the AI to retain context from our conversations. To do this, I'm adding Windows buffer memory to the workflow. I set it to remember up to 15 conversations. Now, our AI agent is fully prepared. 
It is connected via RVAN and can communicate with us. Let's test it out. I open the chat and type, bring me the latest tech news. The AI agent immediately connects to RVAN, processes the query and retrieves the results. For instance, it displays the latest updates like iPhone 17, Xiaomi 15, Tata Electronics, aka, and even information about Epic Games. Everything works seamlessly. This workflow is now fully functional and can be scaled easily. You can create different solutions based on this structure. Thanks to R1's affordability, this process is highly cost effective. For example, it just took a cent. In fact, the costs can be reduced further by 80 to 90 percent. Now, I'll show you how to create an AI agent in the simplest way possible, followed by another solution for different use cases. Now, let me explain what a more advanced AI agent can do. This is an R1 AI agent, and it works seamlessly with R1. DeepSeek is not only highly advanced, but also incredibly cost effective. In this setup, there are three main modules. One, AI agent, the core brain of the system. Two, vector sort tool, a tool for retrieving and sorting data. Third vector database, where all the data is stored and managed. Let me show you how this works. The workflow begins with a telegram trigger, for instance. Imagine sending a message to your assistant via Telegram. You can interact with your assistant by sending a text or even a voice recording. Here's how it processes a voice message. 1. We use OpenAI's transcription tool to convert the voice recording into text. This tool is extremely cost efficient and provides accurate results. 2. Once the text is generated, it is sent to the AI agent for further processing. Now, let's look at what's inside the AI agent. Speech module. This module enables the AI to respond to and engage in conversations. This is powered by one rant. Memory. The AI retains context and information, allowing for continuous meaningful interactions. SERP API. This tool allows the AI agent to access the internet and conduct research in real time. Additionally, the workflow integrates Google Calendar with two key functionalities. One, event get. This monitors your calendar to keep track of your schedule and availability. Second event create. This automatically schedules events for you, such as meetings, dinners, or other appointments. For example, if you're communicating with the AI agent about scheduling, it can check your availability and propose a suitable time. It can even create events and add them to your Google Calendar seamlessly. In this vector store, we store all the information related to this roof repair company. By accessing this, the AI agent can retrieve specific details and utilize them effectively. For example, if we schedule a meeting and want to address specific topics, the agent can access the vector store, learn everything about the roof repair company, and send them a personalized email. This is where the beauty of the system lies. The agent works autonomously to craft completely personalized emails for each customer. I currently use this system for a single company, and it's quite straightforward. However, when you scale this process to include outreach to hundreds of companies or use it for lead generation, the value of this stored information becomes critical. Each company's data is recorded in the vector store and the AI agent retrieves it when needed. All you need to do is organize the information into a cluster and the system automatically converts it into vectors. The e agent then utilizes this data seamlessly. This system is both complex and simple at the same time. Once you understand how it works, it becomes incredibly easy to set up and manage. Now, let's take this further with an art assistant. This assistant is highly intelligent and leverages deep sea carbon, making it extremely capable of completing tasks effectively. I'll walk you through the setup step by step for those who are curious. The first step is connecting the assistant. Start by creating new credentials. For instance, you can set up a Telegram bot by using Botfather. Botfather provides the API information needed to connect the bot to your system. 
we also add a get file module to handle uploaded files such as sound recordings next we include a transcribe recording module to convert audio into text when a sound file is received once the setup is complete your bot can respond in writing however it's also possible to enable voice responses i'll make a separate video to demonstrate this at the core of this system is the ai agent which acts as the brain of the entire model inside the agent we use a prompt that defines its functionality this prompt explains what the agent should do and outlines all the available tools for instance if there's an error during an internet search i've added a fallback function to handle it the prompt also specifies the output format such as making response professional and clear additionally it defines how to use tools like the calendar manager for scheduling or the database engine for retrieving structured data it's crucial to guide the ai agent properly think of it like hiring a new employee you need to explain their tasks because they won't figure it out on their own similarly once you've taught the ai agent how to use its tools it becomes far more efficient for example We've already set up the R1 model that powers the AI agent's speech. I previously demonstrated its setup with Windows buffer memory and the SERPAPI. To use the SERPAPI, you need an account. Simply register, obtain the API key and integrate it into your system. Similarly, you can build your calendar functionality by incorporating dynamic prompts. This allows you to create a highly advanced AI agent capable of handling complex tasks based on specific dates or parameters. These are pre-configured systems that I'm showcasing for different use cases. You can download the ready-made files and use them immediately. Additionally, these tools are available to community members, making it easy to implement them in various domains. Now, this section is the part that creates our vector database. It operates as a separate workflow, but I wanted to showcase it here. When you upload a file to Google Drive, the system retrieves the file, integrates it into the RAG, Retrieval Augmented Generation System, automatically converts it into vectors and saves it. Afterward, thanks to the retrieval feature, our AI agent can now utilize the files added to this database. Now. In a completely different example, I'll show you how you can use R1 directly by connecting it. This is a planner agent. It handles planning tasks for us such as organizing a birthday party, a dinner or even a vacation. We'll leverage the power of R1 here to demonstrate its reasoning capabilities as well. Everything starts again with a chat trigger. After that we have an AI agent which is our planner agent and it is connected to a chat model. Here, we are using R1 for this purpose. Similarly, here we will click on Create New Credential. When selecting, this also comes as an OpenAI model. This time, we'll go to the DeepSeek.com website and click on API from the top menu. We'll take the API key from there and paste it here. You'll need to make a $2 deposit to use it. Our other agent is a tools agent which utilizes email calendar and deep seek simultaneously the model on the side has the same features but there we connect it using http here you can see the url https colon slash slash api dot deep dot com slash chat slash completions below we use authorization with bearer and right after bearer we'll input our api key at the very bottom we use json which I obtained from the DeepSeek library. You can simply copy and paste it exactly as it is. As you can see, we can use this model in many different solutions. I will say, plan my birthday party for next Friday and we'll see the result. As you can see, it has started planning one. Confirm the date of the party as next Friday, which is February 7th, 2025. Two. Decide on a location for the party, ensuring it can accommodate your guests comfortably. 3. Create a guest list that includes all the people you want to invite. 4. Choose a theme or style 
for the party if desired and ensure decorations match the theme. 5. Send out invitations to everyone on the guest list, making sure to include RSVP details. 6. Plan a menu for the party, taking into account any dietary restrictions of your guests. 7. Arrange for any entertainment or activities you want to include during the party. 8. Purchase or rent necessary decorations and party supplies ahead of time. 9. Assign or hire someone to help with party setup and clean up on the day of the event. 10. Follow up with guests who haven't responded to the invitation a few days before the party. 11. On the day of the party, set up the location with decorations and ensure all arrangements are in place before guests arrive. And it wrote detailed steps for each of these tasks. You can see its reasoning in action. It asks me questions like the names of people to invite and the color scheme for the party. So we've explored a variety of scenarios and options for using DeepSeek R1 in an AI agent. You can scale this system and create incredible automations. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. It really helps me a lot. Also, feel free to join our community to dive deeper into these topics.